name is Mitch, and I am Sloth Nanny, also known as Sloth Dad. Um, and I've been with Toucan Rescue Ranch for two months now. Um, I will be here for a total of six months. This is actually my fifth internship. I've basically been internship hopping for the past a little over a year and a half now since I finished university. I am part of the Sloth Team, or Sloth Squad, as we like, like to call it sometime. And I am basically half of that team, and my duties as Sloth Manny basically looking after mainly our older babies. So we have six high school kids, as we like to call them. Uh, they're the older babies that are from nine months to a year and a half old. They, I also look after their surrogate mother, who is a two-year-old adult. I feed them veggies twice a day. I make sure they're eating right, making sure they're behaving normally, they're climbing around fine, they're interacting with each other fine. I take them to the bathroom every day, um, just to make sure that they... <laughs> I take them to the bathroom every day. <laughs> so I take them to the bathroom every day, um, but I am also uh, responsible for looking after some of our younger babies, some babies that are more dependent and need to be milk fed. Uh, on a, every four hours, and that's generally Anna's responsibility, who is the other half of the sloth team, and she is actually a vet, so she has prior experience uh, milk feeding young animals. And my duties are just general husbandry for our young sloth babies. A lot of people tend to think that sloths are very slow, lazy animals, and they would be right, but Working with uh, sloths since I've come here, they can actually be, they're pretty active sometimes. They do have a lifestyle where they try to conserve as much energy as possible, expend as much, uh, little as possible. As babies especially, they are curious, they'll crawl around uh, when they start getting older. Uh, generally when they're much younger, they will stick with their mother. The older babies I work with will climb around a bit, uh, make it actually move pretty quickly if they're excited or if they're scared or if they're kind of getting in a fight with one of their other four fellow sloth babies. As far as my job goes, I do have physical interaction with my baby sloths. Um, only when necessary though, we try to limit touch as much as possible. Like I said, I do have to take them to the bathroom or I have to transport them from the kennel to the rocking chairs they rest on and I do have to pick them up and hold them and carry them. Um, even then, that's only for a very brief window of time. Generally, I keep hands off as much as I can. We do need the physical touch just so we can do what we need to do, but we don't want them to become completely dependent on people. They are dependent now, but as they grow older, they become more independent, and we want to keep um, them becoming more and more independent and relying on people as little as possible. Sloths don't make good pets. They are very high maintenance animals. Um, raising a baby sloth is very difficult and it's pretty much a full-time job. I'm basically part of a team that looks after baby sloths. Baby sloths um, and just uh, even adult sloths really don't make good pets. They require a lot of attention and care despite the myth that they are very slow and lazy and don't do much. They have very special diets, even humidity, temperature, the type of environment they're living in, the type of enrichment you provide them, like what they can, what they have to climb on, exposure to new scents. It's a lot more work and commitment than you would think. So if you find a baby sloth, an adult sloth, or any injured animal here in Costa Rica, you can always contact Manai and they will come to us and bring the animal to us or you can contact contact the toucan rescue ranch directly and bring us your animal and we will take it in and do our absolute best to raise it back to health and get it back into the wild as soon as possible